I'd like to remind that anyone setting the intention to stalk me or possess me is, is or to do that to anyone is putting themselves at risk of serious harm. Uh, and possibly destruction if they become too disharmonic to the point where they are a threat to all and must be destroyed for the good of all. <clears throat> um. I think sometimes people forget, they might actually forget that they are stalking, get comfortable with it, or even not realize that they have the intention of possessing someone in the first place, perhaps because of their state of awareness. Um, so, you know, for anyone doing that, I hope they remain aware, or at least set, the intention to become aware of what they're doing. Um, I mean, there can be so many subconscious sort of roadblocks in their head, and they'll still know. They'll still know they're they're, they're attacking, attacking you uh, intuitively, you know. Um, but some people don't. Uh, so. You know, if you feel like you're, people keep telling you you're being, you're, you're sort of attacking people subconsciously without realizing it, and you get that, um, you just get the feeling like you, you, you're doing something bad, but you don't know what it is. Bad things keep happening to you, and you're not sure why. Um, then, uh, it's um, a good way to become aware of your state is to it's literally just sit back allow your thoughts your feelings and just watch them and as you watch them Especially if you're in a state where you know you're not, you, you don't feel happy, you don't feel calm. Um, you should start to feel a bit more peace, um, a bit happier. And the longer you do it, the more peaceful, the more happy you'll feel. Some people call it meditation, but uh, the, to me, it's actually just um, uh, a natural state of functioning as a being. Um, Uh, as I've noticed, while setting the intention to release resistance, especially now, uh, I've had so much trouble doing so. Um, you know, I'm in I'm in huge states of resistance now myself. Um, <coughs> Three of Cups suddenly drawn to this card and I felt that it has a very strong energy well this says people typically say it, it represents celebration togetherness um, uh, threes a crowd um, so sometimes it can represent that um, uh, perhaps you're in a three you're in a uh, uh, you're in a situation where it feels like three's a crowd. <laughs> um, to me, what it's what I think it means is a is a celebration of a, of, a, of a newfound peace. Um, Peace that should have uh, peace that should have been here a long time ago, um, and 
Well, I was looking at this card a few weeks ago, and what I noticed was uh, my spirit guides were uh, parts of me were possessed by three beings. I believe it was three. I only saw one in my memory, um, and my spirit guides came alive in these while they were, while I was possessed by these people, and three of them did a toast together. Um, just like this in this picture um, and they were I believe they were toasting to a celebration of my freedom um, and uh, you know this had a strong influence on um, my ability to manifest 